नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू इनर्सेट डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड टुडे द हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज वी विल सी हाउ द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून हैज प्रोग्रेस एंड हैज रीस्ट ओवर सम मोर पार्ट्स ऑफ द सेंट्रल इंडिया सम मोर पार्ट्स ऑफ द वेस्ट इंडिया एंड ईस्ट इंडिया एंड हैवी टू रेवी है वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी वेरी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर द ईस्ट सेंट्रल इंडिया एंड एडजॉइनिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ द नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज इफ वी look for the southwest monsoon then this blue color line represents up to which area the southwest monsoon has reached so today on 24th of june the southwest monsoon has covered some more parts of the maharashtra remaining parts of the karnataka remaining parts of the telangana remaining parts of the chatisgarh and it has also covered some more parts of the vidarbha some some parts of the east madhya pradesh and this monsoon has covered uh, some more parts of the east uttar pradesh and today on 24th of june the southwest monsoon has also reached over the uttarakhand over himachal pradesh and jammu and kashmir and some parts of the north haryana as we can see in this blue color line and the atmospheric conditions are also becoming favorable for further advance of southwest monsoon into remaining parts of the maharashtra including mumbai remaining parts of the madhya pradesh remaining parts of the um, means it will cover entire uttar pradesh it will cover the some more parts of the haryana some more parts of the punjab some more parts of the jammu kashmir and some more parts of the gujarat region and this monsoon will also cover uh, uh, our uh, national capital delhi and ncr region during next two days if you look for the uh, observed weather during past 24 hours so this red color symbols uh, are represented the areas where the very heavy rainfall has been occurred so yesterday the very heavy rainfall was received over the uttra uh, Odisha over some parts of the Madhya Pradesh over some parts of the Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh and yesterday heavy rainfall has occurred over West Bengal Chhattisgarh Telangana Andhra Pradesh some parts of the Karnataka some parts of the Maharashtra and Gujarat region and if we we'll look for the today's main chief synoptic feature so today a cyclonic circulation which lies over the northwest bay of Bengal of Andhra Pradesh of Odisha and West Bengal coast and this cyclonic circulation uh, basically under the influence of this cyclonic circulation population a low pressure area is very likely to form over the same region during next 24 hours over the uttar pradesh a cyclonic circulation lies over the central parts of the uttar pradesh and a trough line which also runs from punjab up to the northwest bay of bengal across the haryana uttar pradesh jharkhand and odisha over the west india mainly over the arabian sea a cyclonic circulation also lies over the north east arabian sea of gujarat coast and an offshore trough also runs from the uh, karnataka and kerala coast so because of the offshore trough this cloud convection can be seen over the east central southeast bay, uh, arabian sea and adjoining areas of the maharashtra coastal areas of the karnataka and kerala and because of the cyclonic circulation over the arabian sea the cloud cover can be seen over the gujarat region and adjoining southwest madhya pradesh similarly because of the cyclonic circulation over the northwest bay of bengal moderate to intense convection can be seen over see can be seen over the north bay of bengal over the west bengal over the odisha and over the some parts of the jharkhand over many parts of the andhra pradesh some parts of the tamil nadu and because of the this trough line which basically running from the punjab up to the northwest bay of bengal the cloud cover can be seen mainly over the western parts of the bihar eastern parts of the uttar pradesh west uttar pradesh uttarakhand himachal pradesh and some parts of the haryana punjab and jammu and kashmir if we look for the weather warning for the next 5 days uh, if we uh, look for the east india so because of the circulation over the uh, northwest bay of bengal heavy to very heavy rainfall over the odisha is very likely during next 3 days and even extremely heavy rainfall at one or two places is also likely over odisha on 25th of june and 26th of june so because of that we have given the orange color warning for odisha for the next 3 days similarly heavy rainfall is very likely over the jharkhand and west bengal during next 3 days so we have given the yellow color warning for the jharkhand and west bengal for 24th of june 25th and 26th of june from 27th of june there will be the gradual reduction in rainfall activity over the east india however light rainfall activity will continue over the region similarly isolated heavy rainfall is also likely over mainly over the assam and meghalaya mizoram and tripura 
from 25th of June which will continue till 28th of June so we have given the yellow color warning for the Assam, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Tripura for 25th, 26th, uh, 6th, 7th and 28th of June. If you look for the central India so heavy two very heavy rainfall is very likely over the mainly over the Madhya Pradesh during next five days so we have given the orange color warning for the Madhya Pradesh during next five days even extremely heavy rainfall is also likely over the Madhya Pradesh on 26th and 27th of June similarly over the Chhattisgarh is very likely to receive heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, mainly from 24th of June 25th of June 26th 27th of June so we have given the orange color warning for Chhattisgarh for 25th June and 26th June and for the remaining days we have given only yellow color warning. Similarly for the Bidharva region also heavy to very heavy rainfall over Bidharva will continue during next five days. Even we have given the orange color warning for, for the Bidharva region for 20, uh, 26th of June because very heavy rainfall uh, is likely over some parts of the Bidharva on 26th of June. And if we look for the northwest India, mainly over the western Himalayan region, so as we know, the southwest monsoon has reached over the Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh and some parts of the Jambu Kashmir on today, that is 24th of June. Because of that, heavy to very heavy rainfall, mainly over the Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh will very likely to continue during next five days. Even very heavy rainfall uh, will, 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 will be experienced over some parts of the Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh during next three days. Because of that, we have given the orange color warning for Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh for the next three days. And even on 25th of June, isolated extremely heavy rainfall is very likely at one or two places over Uttarakhand. So that's why we have given the red color warning for Uttarakhand for 25th of June. Over the uh, plain area of the plain, plain area of the northwest India, mainly if we look for the Uttar Pradesh, then isolated heavy rainfall activity will continue over the Uttar Pradesh during next three days so we have given the yellow color warning for Uttar Pradesh for 24th June 25th June and 26th of June from 27th of June there will be the some reduction in rainfall activity over the Uttar Pradesh however the light rainfall will continue over some parts of the Uttar Pradesh on 27th and 28th of June and if you look for the mainly Punjab and Haryana so isolated uh, as we have already seen the southwest monsoon is very likely to cover most parts of the Punjab, most parts of the Haryana and also the Delhi and Sierra region during next two days. So because of that, the isolated heavy rainfall activity is very likely over the Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh and even Delhi also on 25th of June and 26th of June, we have given the orange uh, yellow color warning for Punjab and Haryana for 25th and 26th of June. On 27th June, and 28th of June, light rainfall activity will continue over the Punjab and Haryana and thunderstorm activity will also be experienced. If you look for the West India, so isolated heavy rainfall is very likely over the Madhya Maharashtra during next five days and isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall over the Konkan region, it means the coastal areas of the Maharashtra including Mumbai during next five days. So we have given the orange color warning for the entire Konkan coast and Goa also for the next five days and we have given the yellow color warning for the Madhya Maharashtra region and over the South Peninsula India there will not be any severe weather except isolated heavy rainfall over the Kerala on 25th and 26th of June and uh, it, uh, heavy rainfall over the coastal Karnataka and North India Karnataka mainly on 25th, 26th and 27th of June except these there will not be any significant weather over the South Peninsula India and if you look for the Gujarat so isolated heavy rainfall is very likely over the Gujarat, mainly Gujarat region. So we have uh, during next four to five days. So we have given the yellow color warning for all the five days for the Gujarat region. So that this is for 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th and 20, uh, 28th June also. Over the uh, West Rajasthan, there will not be any significant weather uh, in the upcoming five days. And even the Saurashtra and Kutch also, there will not be any significant weather during the next five days. However, light rain at one or two places over the West Rajasthan and Saurashtra and Kutch cannot be ruled out. And so we have not given any warning for West Rajasthan and Saurashtra and Kutch for the upcoming five days. For more detailed weather information, you can visit the IMD website. You can follow us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel and our Twitter account. Thank you.